Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 3rd through the 9th. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising Signs. So Sag, for this reading I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck along with the Spirit Animal Oracle cards by Colette Baron reed If you do happen to have a birthday this week, Sag, happy birthday. All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Queen of Swords. So a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius person might be significant. So let's see here. Queen of Swords, which is a very uh, serious character, very serious energy. Um, for me, she's someone who want, who seeks the truth, also justice, fairness. Um, let's see what's underneath. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So we have this Queen of Swords. I have the King of Swords. So some of you definitely might be dealing with a an air sign person, or maybe even someone who works within like the legal field, a lawyer a police officer, a military man, something like that. Here we also have the moon. So maybe some of you are using the sword and cutting through any BS or confusion, getting down to, you know, the truth of the matter, getting down to the bottom of something. So that's very interesting, Sag. Um, the overall energy is the nine of wands, which is a card about perseverance. Um, Having that inner strength, that courage, that that willpower, not giving up, persevering, um, and the clarifying card is the Knight of Cups. And so some of you could be waiting on some sort of news or information, waiting on an offer. This could be romantic, but does not have to be. Um, but this is definitely something that you want here with the Nine of Wands. You know, this is, again, it's it's someone who has that strong desire, that willpower, um, that passion with it being wands, not going to give up, not going to back down. Uh, and here, you know, we have the Two of Cups with the Queen of Rods. So um, definitely reading for some Sagittarian uh, females here. And for some of you, it is on the love front with the Two of Cups here. So you could be waiting on news from your partner, waiting on a commitment, waiting on something here, maybe even waiting on a decision with the Two of Swords. And if you have to make a decision, Sag, because we have the Two of Swords um, with the Hermit here, if you have to make a decision, maybe this week, um, you know, spending some time alone. We had the moon underneath the King of Swords there. So uh, if you have to make a decision, definitely needing to ground yourself, needing to listen to your intuition here, meditate, spend some time alone. Here we have the Hermit with the Queen of Rods, especially for you Sag females um, needing to spend some time alone. Maybe you have to make a decision about your relationship. And for those of you that it's not on the romantic front, it could be um, a business partnership, a family relationship. Maybe you have to make uh, you know, a very important decision here this week or even stay open-minded with your partner. Um, the Two of Swords for me can be someone who's kind of blocking someone or, or you know, they're not open. Um, and so maybe some of you, when it comes to a relationship or a partnership, needing to remain open. Uh, and here, you know, we have that Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe some of you have been hurt in love. Um, you've been hurt in the past. So maybe your guard is up for those of you that this is a new relationship. Um, so very interesting. And then we also have this Knight of Swords, which we have the King, the Queen, and now we have the Knight. So that's very interesting. But we have the Knight of Swords and then the Eight of Cups. And this is speaking about forward movement. Now, Eight of Cups energy can be moving on emotionally, moving forward, leaving someone or something behind that's no longer serving you. Um, for some of you, Sages, this is moving on quite quickly. Um, 
So, you know, I definitely feel like for some of you, if you were waiting on enlightenment, waiting on a decision, waiting on something to come through, for some of you watching this, it's absolutely coming through. I think you've been dealing with slower moving energies, but the energy will shift for you. Um, and for some of you, very suddenly, but we have three nights here. So information, news, messages are absolutely coming in. And uh, because we have the Knight of Swords here along with the Knight of Rods, for some of you, messages, news, information, for some of you, just that clarity, it will come in maybe very suddenly here this week. Now, we do have a new moon. I believe it's on the 7th. We do have a new moon um, in Sag here this week. So, um, But we do see forward movement. So some of you moving forward could be physical travel. Um, I'm not getting that for all of you, but for a few of you, it could be physical travel. But I think some of you are, are moving on from maybe a stressful situation uh, because we do have the 10 of rods here, which 10s do speak about cycles that are completing. And so notice we have the nine and the 10. And so for some of you, a stressful time, a difficult time, is completing and that might be for some of you a difficult time a stressful time that was within a, within a relationship um, if you're waiting on news or enlightenment or information to come through it is going to come through some of you are moving on um, and if you are moving away from someone with this queen of swords energy some of you could be using the sword and severing ties from someone. If you are moving on from a relationship, for for some of you, it might not be the easiest, but you will you will get through it. Um, you will get through it. Sag, I definitely suggest for some of you watching your love tarot forecast over on Vimeo. Um, but let's pull you an additional guidance card, Sagittarius. But needing very much to listen to your intuition here this week, Sag. Sagittarius, additional guidance for Sagittarius. Sag, we actually have Starfish Spirit open to infinite possibility. And so those of you that are leaving a relationship, a friendship, a business partnership behind, when you, when you leave relationships, things in life that are no longer serving you, you do open yourself up or you do create that space for new beginnings to come in. And for some of you, you're doing that. Um, you have infinite possibilities in front of you now. Whatever it is that you want to manifest, you can make it happen. For some of you needing to maybe get down to the bottom of something or needing to cut through that confusion or get down to the bottom of something. Um, yeah, and I think that honestly, some of you are definitely completing a cycle. We see forward movement here at this time, very much needing to listen to your intuition. You have new beginnings that are coming in. All right, Sag. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in purchasing a 2019 yearly reading for yourself, those are for sale now on my website. For those readings, I do use not only tarot cards, I use tarot, I use Lenormand, and then this year I've actually incorporated um, the Gypsy Oracle cards into those readings as well, which this is very similar. This deck is very similar to the Sibylas, but I do actually prefer this deck over the Sibylas. So if that's something that interests you, definitely head on over to northeasttarot.com. I hope that you found this reading helpful, guys, and I wish you guys a great week. Take care.